Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to this medieval restaurant that we recently built. Today we're going to be doing a little interior show around along with some more exterior stuff. So I'm going to view that in the daytime, but I figured for the interior I'm going to switch it over to uh, night since that is really when it's kind of best viewed with all the lighting all nice and everything and it's kind of dark and gloomy. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit, but first I kind of wanted to show you uh, some other things that I added on the exterior. So I am briefly showed you this in the last video, kind of the very beginning, uh, but I didn't really show you how to build it. So if you want to see, this is just sort of a little overhang with a sign above it that just says Drunken Troll, which is the name of this restaurant, of course. And then to the right here, this thing is just a little platform I made just to kind of store stuff. Uh, and also it creates sort of a nice visual blockade along with like a movement blockade. Uh, since there really isn't a path to go back here and it is still kind of open, I kind of wanted to prevent people from going back there so I just threw this in and instead of just placing a wall I thought this would be nicer to do sort of like an actual uh, legit thing this build would kind of uh, really need so I threw this little I'm not sure I guess it would just be a platform with some boxes on it uh, these ones are holding fish I think these are berries and then of course more fish on the top and what else do we have I guess we'll go over to the left for now so I'm pretty sure yeah I definitely showed you guys this uh, with the tables and everything and then that is just below the balcony and then if we swing around left there's not too much uh, but this should be the way that we get back into this uh, so really quick before I switch it over to nighttime since you can't really see back here when it is that dark uh, I thought I would show you this really fast so there are some tables back here and before it was really open there wasn't this wall back here and I just thought that wasn't good enough I really wanted to kind of make this secluded uh, make it a nice place where people could sort of come out here and sit maybe in like the springtime and stuff when the the sun's all out and it's nice and warm and it's not too cold uh, to be out here. And then right here, I just threw some boxes, of course the tables, and then scattered uh, some some mossy stone on the ground. And then that is about it. And then of course we got this cool little, uh, still not sure what the hell this thing's called. I think it's like a gondola or a pergola. Uh, but it's got like the nice vines coming down, uh, which I just think is a really awesome effect that we were able to create. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and switch it over to nighttime and then we can explore the actual interior for this thing so we just go over to our video settings I'm not sure if this is in the default thing but I know with Optifine uh, you get the ability to change it over to default nighttime only or daytime only which is really awesome it's really helpful instead of having to put in the commands to switch the time over all the time uh, so that's pretty awesome so let's see if we just go in here and I didn't even switch it did I oh my gosh I'm losing my mind let's see Video settings, other, and then we'll go over to nighttime only. There we go. And then as you guys will see, it's going to pre or create a pretty drastic change and just give it a really nice moody effect. So let me just show you this from the outside really fast uh, with all the nice lights coming in from the window. Uh, I haven't actually explored back here with it being so dark. But yeah, as you can see, as I said, it's really honestly too dark to even sit back there and see anything. Uh, so we'll kind of ignore that for now. I guess I could probably put a torch back here, but honestly... Uh, when it is nighttime, I doubt anyone is going to want to sit out there just because of how cold it would be, I guess, if you're thinking kind of realistically. Uh, so, you know what, I've gone on rambling about the two or outside too much, so let's, let's keep it in here. So, to start out with, on the left I created this nice little bar thing, and this is sort of a new design I tried with the shelving and then kind of mixing that in with the actual stove. And then I also threw some greenery up there. If you do want the greenery for the Conquest texture pack, all you really got to do is switch through the item IDs. And then I think it's one of the cobweb ones. Uh, I believe it is... Shoot, what was it? It's 30 colon something. 30 colon 12, that was it. And then it can also become like fish and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, so there's fish, greenery, and then I think there might be some sort of other plants that can come down and hang. Uh, so that's really cool. And then for sort of the drinks or the kegs of beer or ale, I just use the little, what are they called? The planter's cups or the... Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it right now. What the hell are they called? The flower pots, that's right. So I threw, I think there's three of those down, and then that's just to go with every single one of the three chairs that are circling this bar. And then I also put the candle down, and yeah, so. And then one more thing that I thought I'd try out for this build, instead of keeping it the same material as the floor upstairs, I thought I'd make the roof kind of more condensed, just so it gives it a, I guess, more cramped feeling. Because if I delete this little ceiling really quick, uh, you're going to see that it really opens up the build and just creates effect that some of you may like, but for this case, I really just wanted sort of a more uh, cramped, sort of, I guess, messy feeling, maybe? Uh, so let me just throw this in really quick, and then we can move on to sort of the next portion. So I had, as I was saying, I have this little 
lowered ceiling in, and then I also put across a lot of these little cross beams, I guess, just to sort of make it even more small and condensed. Uh, so we have that, and then of course a bunch of these tables on the right side. And you're going to see there's a lot of tables that you could do without if you wanted to create sort of a more open feeling. Uh, but especially for this very front section when the people first walk into the restaurant, uh, I definitely wanted to make it sort of cramped and tight space, just to make it look really busy and kind of live, I guess. So we've got all those, and then of course, as I always usually do in my builds, I put down my favorite little carpet, which is just the wolf pelts. I believe it's the, yeah, the light gray carpet. And then, so we come back here, there's this window that you guys may have built uh, for the exterior tutorial, and then I threw down these boxes, which in the default texture pack are just the regular oak wood planks. Uh, but this is just a different item ID, and I think this one, this must be like cherries or something, and then this, I don't even know what the hell this is. That's nasty. <laughs> so, and then I also put those little trapdoors over them so people can open and close it. So maybe that's just like an open bucket where people can grab uh, some little vegetables or whatever uh, they used to have back in medieval time and just throw that on their plate. Uh, maybe it's just like a free sort of uh, bonus to their meal when they purchase that. So we've got that, and then the bar kind of hooks over to the left. And this is where you enter it, and then I threw this little carpet down right there, and that's pretty much it for the actual um, food serving area. So then over here to this sort of left side of the building, uh, there are just a bunch more tables, and I tried to cram this up as much as possible, but of course, and if you are going to remove any, I would recommend uh, removing this table. Now, it does leave a big open space, uh, but honestly, in my opinion, for this little section right here, there's nothing wrong with it, because it's almost... Uh, like sort of a crossroad where people come right here to this spot and they have a bunch of different options such as going up the stairs, uh, coming back here to the little, uh, I'm not sure what you could call this, just maybe like an outdoor eating area or maybe even to come back out here to exit or finally to go into the actual sort of bar area where they serve the food and this, I guess this is sort of the kitchen of the build so there's that um, or you could just leave it there if you do like that sort of cramped messy look that I was going for to begin with and then of course around the build we do have a lot of sort of torches in fact these are actually the redstone torches just so they don't emit too much light just to sort of keep this gloomy dark feeling and if you want to see I guess instead of switching all the torches around I could just switch this over to bright and maybe this would give you guys a nice little feeling of what it would be without oh my gosh that didn't do anything did it video settings okay you know what? we'll switch that back to moody I'm just going to grab some regular torches and spam them around just so you guys can kind of see how bright it would be if we just use these instead. And just see how that just really tears up the mood, kind of? It's just really way too bright. And just only adding one torch can do that. So imagine instead of having these redstone torches, imagine having all of them be regular torches and how just bright and weird that looks. So kind of crazy if you think about it that way. So that's just like a little tip. You can use if you do want to give your builds a nice sort of mood or dark gloomy feeling and then so we have all these other tables coming over here i did decide to place this little extra wall in here coming around the stairs uh, which is kind of pushed up against that very last block i guess we have a little gap of two over here and then what i like to do in most of my restaurants and inns and brothels or taverns whatever the hell you want to call it is put in these little corner tables and i got this little idea from the lord of the rings of course when the hobbits go into that little uh in in the very first movie and they got Strider or Aragorn whatever you want to call him in the back sitting in that table I just always like to put in that thing I just think it's a really cool effect back there so we got that and then this of course just leads out to this little dining area and then what else is there I think that might be all for the first floor I did have this little container of food right there but now I guess it should be time for us to move up to the second floor which is actually the last floor for this build if you want to I guess we did have room to make a another one up here. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. Okay, well this may be a good time to place in the regular torches. So we got this, and there are... Actually, there is lots of space up here. If you did want to build something. So maybe a few more rooms, or just like a master bedroom for some people to stay. Uh, speaking of bedrooms, I know this is a restaurant, but if we're kind of being realistic and trying to go back into medieval times, most restaurants and stuff, or inns, on the road did usually have rest or what am I saying they did usually have bedroom I was, I was gonna say the restaurants did usually have restaurants which wouldn't make sense but yeah the restaurants did usually have bedrooms you know uh, which is kind of cool just so maybe people can eat and then they stay overnight maybe come down get their breakfast and then go back on their travels to sort of maybe a different city or location or dungeon whatever the hell they wanted to go to uh, I don't know what they did back then but yeah so let me just kind of backtrack here so if we come in after the stairs, 
we do have this little exit to the right, which is just leading to our balcony. Not too much up here. I probably could have thrown a torch or a redstone torch just to kind of light it up a bit or maybe place a table. But I really, I kind of just like how open it was out here. Uh, it's really kind of a cool view looking down at the market square or eventually we'll have some more buildings over here. Maybe some more little market stalls down in that empty space. Uh, but yeah, that is the balcony. So if we keep moving farther into the build, I decided on every wall, I would try to kind of fill it up as much as possible. So I usually ended up placing a picture or uh, I guess this is still a picture, but in this texture pack, it becomes a flag. Uh, so I just wanted to fill in every wall, not leave any blank spaces. So I tried to do my best at doing that. So we got this little table right here with the little plant and the candle uh, and then uh, another little carpet that I, I just can't get enough of. These things are so cool. And they're also, let me show you this really quick, they do have a, a bear pelt if you use the brown carpet. And there might be one more, I can't really tell. Maybe they got like a dead black cat. <laughs> Let's see what the black carpet is. Oh no, that one's actually normal. That's kind of cool though. I like the, the red border on that one. So yeah, there's that. And then of course... As always, I keep placing in more tables. I just think, since this is a restaurant, I'd try to keep that little look uh, even on the second floor. So I did place in a few of these in case someone did want to bring their meal upstairs for more of like a little private conversation or something. Uh, so we have two tables up here. This is just a little storage section that I made over to the left side of this area. So I threw in some boxes. These are item ID 5 colon 1. So if you want to switch it over to that, you can. And then the default texture back, they are just the regular, uh, the oak wood planks. So it's not going to look too bad in that. And then right here, one more picture and the candle in the window. And that's what gives it a nice little effect from the outside. Like someone's actually in here and living in this place. And then this is a little, just like a little pantry area back here with some hanging greenery stuff. And then these pots and pans and knives right there. And then just a chest and one more box right there. And that's all for the little storage section. And then, as I said before, I tried to fill in all the walls. So I put this little, uh, I guess these are notes or maybe some warrants out for someone's arrest right there and then this this is where it maybe gets a little too dark so i probably could have added in uh, maybe one more candle right there although i do think it's kind of cool because maybe people are trying to sleep up here so i guess you might want to keep it sort of dark like this uh, but if you're wondering this is just uh, two blocks of the crafting table and they kind of become drawers which i think is really cool in this texture pack and then we got this little painting on the back if you want to see that it's just kind of like a wintry castle that i think is during a battle. I think those might be explosions or fire or something. And then what else do I need to show you? We've got this little carpet right there, another table. I think I already mentioned that one. Torch in the back and then these are the two rooms. Did I show you guys the rooms yet? I could have sworn I already flew over here and did this. Maybe not, but anyways, we'll just we'll fly in here. Uh, I think, yeah, they're both symmetrical. They got a different picture, so uh, I'll show you that really quick. Uh, that one's just the flag. This one is a little painting of a map, but you can see there's a large difference in this in the rooms, even though they do have pretty much the exact same blocks. And that's just the lighting. And you can especially notice this during the day from the window. In fact, let me show you this. This one will kind of stay dark, at least for the most part. But if we go over, let's see, options, video settings, and then we'll switch it over to daytime only. Okay, so there we go. So this room, if you close the door, it still kind of stays almost a little bit dark and moody and creates sort of like an orange tint with the candle going but this one on the other hand keeps it it's just much more bright and that's because of the window letting in that natural light uh, so that's really cool i think uh, but yeah i believe this is it for the little interior show ran i don't really think i have much else to cover here uh, i guess i'll just do one little final fly around of the build if you do want to see it and then yeah so in the comments make sure and let me know what you want to see next time i think we'll be building in the gothic style if I remember correctly. Yes, we will. For sure. 100% in the Gothic style. And then after that one, we will be building in the Nordic style. So if you guys have any ideas for those or any more suggestions for this interior, if you think maybe you have a good idea for the attic, because I really couldn't think of anything to place up here. Uh, I just kind of left that blank. So if you have any ideas for that or for future builds, definitely let me know about those down in the comments. But yeah, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.